Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the ethical principle autonomy. Autonomy refers to the patient's right to accept or refuse treatment, given that the patient has all facts regarding their treatment, which means that the physician is required to tell the patient about the treatment provided, and they should also tell them about the risks and benefits of the treatment, and they should also tell the patient about alternative treatments. But the decision to whether or not accept the treatment goes back to the patient. And they should make the decision of whether or not to accept or refuse the treatment without any influence from the physician. So the physician should not sway the patient's decision and alter it. For example, let's say that we took a blood sample from a patient who was complaining of fatigue and we saw very low platelets and RBCs with very high WBCs. This is highly suspicious of leukemia. So, the physician goes back to the patient and explains that their findings are consistent with leukemia. And then, the physician recommends that the patient do marrow biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. Now, legally and ethically speaking, here is where the physician's job ends. They explored the causes and discovered the diagnosis and they provided the management options to the patient. Now, autonomy gives the patient the full right to accept or refuse a marrow tap. If the patient refuses the bone marrow biopsy, this might lead to worse complications and even death. Now, in this case, the physician has to explain this outcome to the patient. Now, the treating doctor has to respect the patient's decision and not judge them or try to alter their decision. They can explain that it's a bad idea but that's as far as they go. Now, autonomy can work both ways. The treating physician can have autonomy of their own. For example, if a pregnant woman is in her third trimester and she requests cesarean section from the treating physician, but the treating doctor knows that this patient can deliver vaginally with no problems and that there are no medical reasons for cesarean section. In this case, because the treatment is elective and optional, the physician can practice their own autonomy and refuse providing this treatment. And here's a small quiz, trying to see whether or not the patient in this scenario was given autonomy. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.